Hello everyone, welcome back to Master for the Worthy Hardcore. This is episode 2, season 1, and we're going to hit it right back at it right now. Okay, so last episode we did a little fishing, and we acquired some really nice stuff. We got uh, ourselves a double jump. We got ourselves some sailfish boots, which are the equivalent of Hermes. We got a warding radar. I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess, for the four defense, so I'll keep it. But today, um, I want to get across that corruption. Really want to try and get across that corruption. That's going to be a big, big, big undertaking, but I think I can do it now. Another thing that I want to do is to also scout into the jungle. And third thing is I want to make a kill box because we're going to need to fight the goblin army to get better gear. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and build a kill box first. I think that's what I should probably prioritize first. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and start doing. Um, it's to the point where I don't think I need to worry as much about it being nighttime anymore. So we're not going to worry about it as much. Um, so long as we're in our little safe area, our little starting haven, it shouldn't be too bad of an idea. Go ahead and do things. Also, th what? Oh, hi. Piss off, man. I don't know why I hadn't been doing it, but make sure you're lighting up your surroundings. You never know when there's a monster just creeping around the corner, and that could really kill you. The fact that I haven't been lighting this up is a really bad idea. And it's more or less just me begging to get deleted on the spot. Hi. Worm. Come here. Thank you. Oh, right, and another thing that I can do is actually go ahead and mine up this crimtane. Um, there's a number of useful things that we can get from Crimtane. So let's go ahead and mine this stuff up. Oh, it's gonna be big, I think. Let's see. Yeah. Well, that's a main means of us. We could probably infiltrate the corruption biome through there if we truly wanted to. Alright. I don't know if one lava is going to be enough, but it might be. We'll see. I want to go ahead and also make some renovations to our house. I want to make a little basement that I can store things in here. And a little shack here. Because villages can contain up to four NPCs as of the current patch. And so we should definitely take advantage of that. I'm going to go over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a little kill bot. A kill area. So that when the goblins inevitably spawn in, we should be capable of handling them. This should also be really good for when the blood moon occurs. And we could also probably use it for the pirates once hard mode hits. Because pirates will inevitably spawn in, and uh, if I recall correctly, in my, uh, my soft core for the worthy playthrough, uh, I, I got camped by the pirates super hard. I did not have very fond memories of that event, so... So it's going to take a lot of planning and a lot of uh, forward thinking to try and combat that. Hi. This seems good enough for me. Hopefully this is enough. And the intention is that it also... Okay, good. Awesome. And now, we have a little kill area. Uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and make some platforms, like so. And 
And I will teach you a few other tips and tricks to defending yourself in this game mode here. So I'm going to build myself a little box here. And what I'm going to show you... So obviously you probably already know you can attack through these little one-by-one -one holes. That's a pretty basic trick. Everyone kind of knows that. They've been around the game a lot. Here's a very powerful trick that could enable you to survive, though. Did you know that you can actually attack through these walls? Might seem crazy, but I'll show you how. You take your hammer, and you hammer the platforms like this. Fix this real quick. And when they're hammered like this, it creates a very common glitch known as a hoik. As you just saw there, I just walked through the block, right? It's not magic, this is actually an intentional glitch that is in the game. You can recreate this on your own world. And doing this, you can actually walk through the blocks. Pretty helpful, right? I'm gonna go ahead and put platforms here because this will get me killed if I'm not careful. So you can walk through at your own leisure. You can do one more very powerful thing. You can attack through. As you can see right here. And that means that this is like an extremely powerful thing that you can do. And this simple trick will save your life. Especially during these invasions. Oop. Oh my goodness, you have a golden coin. Give me your golden coin. Unfortunately, we haven't gotten any yet, but I really am on the lookout for pinkies. If we find pinkies, that'd be really helpful. Because you might be thinking, oh, you want Molotov cocktails? No, I want peace candles. I want to reduce the amount of spawns that is in my more traveled areas. Because the less mobs that spawn, I'm going to be honest with you, the better. It'll make my life a lot easier. I'm going to go ahead and remove these uh, platforms and make it rope. And this is no stretch by the measure perfect. I'm pretty sure they can still attack me. But it is still incredibly helpful. And let's be real... Sorcerers aren't that big of a threat, um, because in Further Worthy, most of the damage buffs are contact damage. And if you don't know what contact damage is, that basically just means whenever an enemy touches you, like so, yeah. that specific damage is buffed in Further Worthy. I believe it's increased by like th times three, times five, one of the nine. And that's what makes... Further where the mobs truly dangerous is if they touch you, you, they, you just die. Yeah, we're gonna make a little. Wait. Okay, so a pinky did die here. Okay, awesome. We can make peace candles now. That's really amazing. <laughs> So, I'm gonna go ahead and build a trap door. I'm gonna slap it here, and this will be effectively our kill box for when the goblin army inevitably attacks. There we go. So, we can craft a trap door, and we can place it right here, and that should enable us to just go in here and collect loot whenever we want to. Without having to worry about those pesky mobs getting in there. Like so. Bam. We just right click. Press that. And we can be under here as well. But I would prefer being above. That way we have a better chance at fending off against the... Um, the heckin' other things. Which brings up my other point. We're definitely going to want to get a yo-yo. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a wooden yo-yo, I think. Let me take a look. Can I make a wooden yo-yo? How do I make a wooden yo-yo? I don't, I forget, honestly. 
I forger. Oh, there it is. Hi. Bam. I am in pain. Why is it broken? In any case, that will be helpful for when we actually decide to do things properly. Come here! And, one more thing that we can do is we can capture these little critters that we have here. And we can turn them into food. Roasted duck is actually really bad good because it gives us a medium buff. Oh god, look at that. Look at that thing right there. I am so scared of the bunnies, man. They are literally instant kill. So you can run around capturing all the little cr critters that we have around here. And you can actually make them into food. Like this bird. I think I have a squirrel in here. Yep. We could also take the squirrel. Turn it into a grilled squirrel. And we could also make cooked fish. Which I will go ahead and make right now. And that'll probably be our primary food. But yeah, if you're just starting out and you really need to get some food um, up and running, that's one way to do it. Um, that's also a very helpful tip for if you're playing on the constant, because the constant is, as you know, uh, a hilarious difficulty mode where you die if you're hungry. So. What the hell? Why is our harpy? Why is our harpy? Huh? What? Why are they spawning? Excuse me? Okay, I gotta get into the box. I gotta get in the box. I gotta get in the box. This is really scary. Run, run, run. What the hell? Into the box. Into the box. Okay, okay, we're safe. Oh! We're not safe. What the fuck? Uh... I genuinely don't know what to do. This is terrifying. I did not realize that they were that close to the... to space. Um... Shit. No, don't go outside. We have grenades. We took care of it, but that was, like, incredibly scary. I don't know why that thing just decided to spawn. Which also is exemplifying our need for, uh... Yeah, we, we need paint peace candles up. I cannot afford to be encountering crap like that. They could just potentially kill me. Why now? Why now? It's episode two. And now they're just gonna randomly decide that they can spawn? Excuse me? But yeah, we also just saw one of the various flaws of that uh, design. Um, enemies can also shoot through them. They are not good for harpies. So keep that in mind. There's an explosive bunny. Die. So now we have Peace Candle, we have Happy. Um, this will definitely keep us, I think, for the most part, safe. Um, what else? Yeah, we make more peak, peak torches. So, in order to make um, peace candles, you need uh, platinum, among other things. <sighs> and that buff should pretty much last us. I'm going to go ahead and build a little tunnel here, since apparently harpies can spawn if you go up that high. I didn't realize that that was going to be an issue. Oh, poor other. But this is, uh... That's just how the game works. I did not really realize it was that high up. Wait. Is the corruption encroaching? Is that what's going on here? I'm going to try and kill this eater. Okay. Let's 
start building. Okay, two small eaters. So Terraria has a unique uh, system where the size of the enemy also determines its HP and damage. So these smaller ones aren't nearly as much of a threat as their larger counterparts. Okay, and it's not a Blood Moon. That's pretty epic. Although, increased spawn rates in the corruption is not fun. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to make like an effectively a bridge so I can cross this. A bit safer. Really doesn't help that I can't see what I'm doing. Hold on. There we go. And I suppose we can also grind these eaters to try and get a banner while we're at it. Uh, eaters are also very epic because they have a chance of spawning a very unique item. Um, known as the Shadow. The Ancient Shadow Armor. And if we can get that, it's actually the best armor in the game for pre-boss. Um, I'm probably not going to grind for it unless I get super lucky. Um, but it is definitely something that we can go for. If we're feeling a little lucky. Oh my goodness. But the main intention here is to get a bunch of banners up and running. I really don't like the eater uh, damage values. And this will help if we can just lower their population a little bit. Oh. Speak of the devil! Dang. I was not expecting me to actually get one of these. Oh, okay. I mean, that works. What? Why did I just fall through a one block gap? Excuse me? That was a one black block gap, right? Oh no. Oh no. Slime rain. Uh, that's terrifying. What the? Why? This event could kill me because King Slime. How did I... I didn't... What? I don't understand. How? My, my brain is... dying right now. What? Okay, well, looking on the bright side, at least we have slimes to worry about and not eaters, I guess. Maybe we can take advantage of this. And yes, for those of you who are... Uh, is that a pinky? Oh, shoot. Yeah, let's let that pinky in. Come here, pinky. Come on. In you go. Hey, yeah, you don't do too much damage. Okay, come on. I'm murdering you. I 
I shouldn't get bullied to death by Pinky. Alright, cool. That was really cool. Alright. Okay, that is terrifying. Did you see that? Okay, if that thing freaking manages to get up here, I'm recalling. Bruh. This is fine. See, I was thinking to myself, I was thinking to myself, maybe I should make like a little thing there. And, and I have just immediately changed my mind. Okay, so there is a traveling merchant. I think I am gonna go pay him a visit. See if they got anything good. Hi. Yeah, stay in the house, please. A stopwatch. That's pretty much it. Okay. Goodbye. So you might be thinking to yourself, why am I being so overly cautious? Well, the thing is, caution is the name of the game. If we don't, if we let our guard down just slightly, and try to just, like, fight these mobs, it's just not going to end very well for us. We have to be boring, and we have to be kind of overly cautious. That's the only real way you're going to actually win. And so, the time that you're going to be spending building stupid structures like this that you never build in Classic or Expert or maybe even Master, um, the time sink is a lot, and it becomes a... Uh, just a massive time sink. And that's why you don't really see a lot of people uh, attempt this game mode, in, especially in freaking hardcore, is because the time sink is immense, man. I know, I think Gunnier said he was going to try it out. Uh, we'll see how far he gets, but there, there's a very good chance he just, that he doesn't finish. I might not even finish this. I'm probably nowhere near as good as at the game as him. I, I like the I like to think that, you know, when a YouTuber does it, that means that I can, but sometimes that's just not the case. Some YouTubers are actually good at the video game. Contrary to popular belief. Okay, I think the slime rain is stopping. Alright, good. Alright. The slime rain is passed, and we don't have to worry about that too much anymore. Yeah, um, smart me. And another thing that we need to be working on to doing is increasing our torch luck. And the way we can do that is by collecting this ebon stone and making ebon torches. Alright, so I know this works. Now it doesn't want to work. Herrera, you are a finicky game. Okay. 
What? Okay. Uh, 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 okay. Bam, bam. All right. We're gonna make some corrupt torches and we're gonna go ahead and place them down. And the intention here is to increase our torch luck so we can get... I'm still not, like, I'm still kind of on the the consideration range, if that makes any sense, for actually doing... <laughs> actually putting in the effort to grind for Ancient Shadow. Well, it would be really nice. The time sink would be immense. And I am unsure if it would actually be worth it. There we go, that's our first banner. Just in time for a devourer to assassinate us. And watch the difference. We're literally doing double damage to these fools. And I'm sure they do significantly less damage, too. Alright, cool. Okay, and we can continue with scouting out this uh, side of the map. See what's up. As I said, we should be able to evade all the undead adversaries that we encounter. So that's not too much of an issue pending that we find another corruption biome. Okay, that's a relatively small. Oh, and there's our dungeon. Hello, dungeon. Looking goofy as normal, I see. goofy ah dung dungeon. There's our ocean. Angler. Oh, he right, was right there. Damn. You killed him. Good job. Raise again. Grab and go. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm starting to see what's wrong here. So for the worthy has a chance of this happening, but we started on a much higher plane. 
if that makes any sense. So, on average, for the worthy by a uh, freaking areas have a higher chance to be this way. So, that's annoying. Um. Okay. Now that we have a banner, I dare say it's time for us to do something a little bit risky. One might even say a little stupid. We're gonna go for our, our first orb. Maybe our second. If we play our cards right. Oh, hi! I didn't realize they could do that. That might be an issue. But we're gonna have to eliminate the, that devourer anyway. Hopefully that doesn't one shot. It'd be a damn shame. I think it does 35 in classic. I don't think it one shots but it would definitely be devastating to get hit by it. I think it'd be two shot or three shot in our current gear set. Ow. See, they do only do 53 damage now. That's a lot more uh, manageable. Especially when we can ink up our defense and actually make it so that we can fight them. Still don't get too comfy. As they will still kill you dead. Aw, oh, damn it. Okay, we can use this. I think I'll just go ahead and nuke it. Nuke an opening with dynamite. Oh, hi, that's a swarm. That's a swarm of the little buggers, yeah? And I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and try and grind for a second banner. Because as I said, banner farming is the name of the game here. As much as I hate to say it. Yep, and whenever we engage, we just retreat back to our banner. Because that is our that is our power area. That is where we fight them from. We do not try to fight them anywhere else but our banner. You fight the mobs on your terms, not theirs. And if you get put into a situation where they are trying to force you into their terms, just get out of there. The only thing that you're going to lose is your pride. It is not worth it. And just like that, we are in. And just like that, we are fucking out. Okay, we're forced to fight. See, in this... 
example here. They're trying to corner us. They're trying to gank us. Just leave. Not worth it. Back to our banner. Or we know we're safe. And since we are going to be operating from there for a hot minute, we can also pick up our banner and move it. But that's not going to be needed because we just got another one. Okay. So we're going to fight our way back down there. Let's be real, even with the banner, it's still a little bit difficult to actually, like, fight them with our current gear. We need better gear. And that's what we're about to get. So, we're gonna go ahead and place this banner. Let's see, look, they're trying to stop us from placing it. Like, no! He placed the banner! My powers! Alright. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, and look, we can get. That's literally just a one stop shop right there. And we got two of the really good items. We got a mace, and we also got. Oh, that's gonna suck. Moderate inconvenience. Okay, yeah, we can get it. We got a musket, and we got the ball of hurt, which will replace our boomerang. Sorry. Why am I apologizing to an eater? You want me dead. Look at that. This is a very powerful weapon that we can use. And if we can get ancient shadow armor... I know, I'm still trying to convince myself that I want it. Then we can go ahead... Oh, shit. Because you have a banner down doesn't make you invincible. Don't be stupid. I'm saying that as a tip, and I'm just saying that to myself. Because, as you saw there, we were taking a bit more damage than is what, that I'm comfortable with. But yeah, we can easily fight them now. With that. So we got a musket. That's going to replace our bow. 14 to 34 damage. A big jump. But we're not going to pop the third one because then I'll summon the eater and we really don't have the ability to fight the eater right now. I'm going to go ahead and grab this demonite. I think I said it was Primtain earlier. That is obviously wrong. Your boy needs to be a little better at saying words, apparently. And we're also going to grab this, uh, what is this? Obsidian. Yeah. Because obsidian good. And if we can get 20 of it, uh, we can craft an accessory that is a little bit helpful. We'll probably replace our shackle. Uh-oh. Okay, we're still in the banner. That was a little scary. If we didn't have a banner there, we would be dead. Or I would have at least recalled. Oh, sorry. Why am I saying sorry to an eater? <laughs> Oh, this cave cut into the corruption bomb. That's <gasps> Ow. What the fuck is this, man? You see how many fucking traps are here? Uncool. If I see that many traps, it better be a goddamn freaking trap chest nearby, man. 
Okay, this is extremely dangerous for me to be doing, but we might get some good stuff. So that's why I'm doing it. Oh, God. Freaking. No, I don't trust this biome. I have extreme trust issues with the ice biome. <sighs> For various reasons, we're gonna need a danger sense before we go in there. And that's just my paranoia kicking in. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay. Um, we're in a really good position right now. Uh, we can make a melee, which would be a better yo-yo uh, for when the goblins attack. I don't think we need it, though. Um, what I'm gonna go for is the magnuluminescence. Now, you might be thinking, why do you need that? That's kind of a trash accessory, is it not? Wrong. This is a good accessory. And it's arcane, so it's even better. I'm going to replace this with our guide to plant fiber cordage. Goodbye. So what this accessory does is it makes us move a lot faster. You see how fast we're moving now? Look at that. One thing to note is that this does not help you while you're flying or in the air. This only boosts your on-ground acceleration. But it is still a very helpful accessory for us right now. And it's going to be especially helpful for when we inevitably fight the Eye of Cthulhu. Because this additional speed will enable us to outrun its much faster charges. Because in Further Worthy, it moves a lot quicker. So we're going to need that to be able to outrun it. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and start on the basement of this house. And this is going to be where we stow all our crafting gear. Or just basically our chests. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on that. Deforestation, my favorite. Hi! Goodbye. I'm scared of the bunnies. They really have to around for
Okay, we did a little organizing. And I'm really liking how it looks right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and continue kind of building up this section real quick. I uh, just wanted to check in. It's just to show that I am, in fact, still gaming like a pro. Not really. I am actually huffing lots of copium right now, but don't worry about it. And this will be a valid NPC housing area because I want someone to sit down here and suffer, preferably the guide, if they spawn in. Alright, cool. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and sleep until morning. I'll be right back. Hopefully it's not a freaking... Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and pause. I really shouldn't be AFK. So let me go ahead and do that. Here. Alright, I am back. I went to go touch some grass real quick. And I'm back. I'm gonna wait till morning. Uh, hopefully, there might be a goblin army this morning. We'll see. If so, the, uh, the kill box will be put into effect. Okay. Okay, it's go time. It's go time. Okay. I was not expecting it to happen so quick. But, uh, apparently... We are- we are under attack. Effective immediately. Oh lordy. That's fun. What do I have that I can utilize to fight back? Yep. So, while they are, uh, trying to kill me, and they're getting burnt up from below, we're gonna be defending against- Oh, jeez. You saw how much that did? Yeah, sorcerers are no joke. They're gonna be three shot, or four shot. But yeah, uh, this makes the goblin army a breeze. Literally foolproof. <laughs> Gotta be careful, though, because they will still murder you if you're not careful. Oh, hi. I'm not gonna be able to kill that sorcerer, but that's okay. Hi. Ball hurt does help defend against the, the, the sorcerer's uh, magic. As it should probably be expected, they are the... Oh god. Okay. Whew. We're just gonna chill here for a minute, alright? Holy shit. Okay. <sighs> we got a little bit, uh carried away there, and it almost cost us our lives. Oh, hi. We're just gonna swing our ball of hurt. Everything is fine. Okay. Okay. 
Quick thinking, quick wits. That's the name of the game here. Rip Dias. Oh, rip my merchant, too. That is unfortunate. Okay. I am shaking. I am scared. But I'm alive. And that's all that really matters at this point, folks. We're alive. We're still kicking. And by God, we are going to see the end of this. We will see this through. Get in my house. Okay. If we can get back into the kill box. We should be alright. Regen, 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 regen. Okay. A few things we could have done better here, but I think we'll see the end of this. And a goblin army has been defeated. Alright. That was terrifying. But we made it through. We're alive. Woo! Same cannot be said for our NPCs, though. They unfortunately perished in the attack. Rip NPCs. But hey, we got we are eight gold coins richer after that. And hopefully we don't have to deal with that for a hot minute. Dear lord. I I I honestly thought that was the end there. But thankfully a a, a bit of witful thinking can uh, mean the difference between life and death, especially in situations like that. All right, well, and a merchant's back. I can't say the same for a demo man. We're probably not going to have a demo man for a hot minute. And of course, he fell into the water. Rip. But no, that was that was really good. I'm really happy that we survived that. But yeah, um, if I were to do anything better than what I just did, um, buff. You, you should always buff up when you're doing something insane like this. The fact that I didn't buff was incredibly dumb of me. Um, in addition, I'm not sure how to prevent sorcerer spawns, but if there's something that I could probably do better to prevent sorcerers, because... They could still attack me from up here, and I do have this broken yo-yo. 
Oh, okay, and it would have been able to attack from above, but we have, like, three sorcerers spawning in all at once. Um, it, it, it's no longer a good strategy. But, if you're, if you maintain constant vigilance, you will be able to kill the, uh, goblin army. Alright, and, uh, with that being said, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Um... I don't think I got everything that I wanted to get done done today. Um, Merchant is probably going to drown. Rip. Um, but I think I did get a majority of what I wanted done today. And that was crossing this, um, this corruption biome. We can cross it. Uh, we got an angler. So more than likely the angler is going to be living in my basement now. Great. Um, we didn't get to go into jungle this episode, so we'll probably do that next episode. Um, but the fact that we got a mace and a musket, and that mace was a lifesaver. I don't know if you saw that, but the only reason why we aren't dead is because of that mace. Seriously, that's the only reason why we're still kicking. Um, I'm considering the ice biome, but I want a danger sense and a warmth potion before I even think about going into here. Because that frozen debuff is killer if you never uh, had to deal with it before. And it seems just trap ridden in general, so I don't really want to deal with it. Um, Probably also would be a good idea to start on a elevator. I don't really know where I want to build one yet. Probably just like here would be a good idea. I don't know. I'll get back to y'all on that one. Anyways... I think, uh, for our finale tonight... No, we don't need a finale. We're good. Goblin Army was our finale. <laughs> but, what I'm going to do is we're gonna go ahead and next episode, we're gonna find the goblin. We're gonna go ahead and build up more NPC housing. And I think the goal is to either get Platinum Armor or Ancient Shadow Armor. One of the two. So, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe because uh, looks like this series might stick around for a little longer than I anticipated. And uh, yeah, y'all have a wonderful day.